Down here at the Green Centre, Saturday when they open for business, and today a bit of a special because there's a lot of electric bikes on view. And uh, taking an interest is the Minister along here with Phil from Friends of the Earth. Uh, Minister, is this the future? Well, I, I love the electric bikes. There was recently, the Friends of the Earth had a, an event on the promenade and I, I had the opportunity to ride one of the bikes up and down the prom several times and it was great fun and if you look at the models now they're coming on leaps and bounds they look really good as well uh, as being practical and energy efficient and all the rest of the things that we want to see happening in the future. I feel quite a lot of people have been interested in stopping having a look and I believe they are selling. Yeah yeah there's, there's that smart bicycle that Connor rode around the TT course and the guy said well they've sold about six on the island now and we've got various ones. Uh, Chris Burton, who's actually a harbour master, he cycles in from down south on his, a whisper. Uh, really smart bicycles, you know, and yeah, they are selling and they're going for reasonable prices now. You know, they're not highly expensive. Yeah, well, two and a half thousand pounds for some well, of them. Yeah, well, compare that to a car, mm. you know, running cost of a car. So if you factor all that in and, uh, you know, you don't put petrol in them. No, so and if you were working in Douglas and had to pay to park all year round, that's, you could be up to about £1,500 in one year. Okay. Well, on the other hand, though, electricity is more expensive than the UK, so the running costs could be higher? Uh, yeah, but it's fra fractions. Mm. not a lot to charge them. I think it's about 26p or something to charge yeah. a battery. It's nothing, you know. So. And you've got different models here, some of the earlier ones, and, and all the time things get better, improved. Do you think this is the time now we should be looking at these, Mr? Well, again, I think I would say this is the same as the uh, electric TT. The electric TT in the first instance was pretty uh, barnes wallace if you was, It was pretty amateurish. If you look at them now, they're really swishing, and obviously we've had our first 100 mile an hour lap and things, and the technology is carrying on, and there's an uh, encouragement for people in this business to invest in it, because oil is only going to go in one direction. So when are you going to swap your nice ah. motor car, motorbikes or motor cars for one of these? I have several motorbikes. Yeah. Uh, my, my worry is that I might have them when there's no oil left. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I would like to have one of these when I have more time. I'm busy, busy, busy all the time at the moment. And uh, as far as the Green Centre go, Saturdays you're open yeah. and this is just part of what you have on show. Yeah, we thought it'd be good just before Christmas in case people wanted to get something, mm. you know. It's, I mean, obviously it's a bit too close to Christmas, but it gives them an idea of what's available, you know. And I'd say far cheaper than running a car. And uh, I think one of the companies, the smart one, they're about to also launch their smart cars at electric versions as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's coming out shortly. Yeah. When will we all be in electric cars, you think? <laughs> when the oil runs out. Sometime soon, hopefully, but uh, a few years away. But there's more and more versions of electric cars as well mm. now. So the development's coming on in them leaps and bounds now. So, soon.